In this video, we are going to learn how to install GitHub Desktop in your computer. So, uh, hi geeks, there, this is Joang Media. Welcome back and please subscribe if you want to keep learning about technology. In this video, as I told you before, I'm going to try to guide, guide you step by step about this easy installation. But uh, if you need some kind of guidance, I'll be here for you. All right. So let's go ahead and try to do this. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the official um, website of GitHub Desktop and the, uh, the, the path where you can download the software, how you can find it. You just have to go to Google, look for GitHub Desktop as I did and go ahead and click in the first um, well, uh, link there, right? So uh, once you are here, uh, you're going to see this uh, presentation, GitHub Desktop. If you want to uh, focus on matters instead of fighting with Git, well, uh, it is offering us a very, a very interesting solution, right? I think that it is very powerful and maybe uh, very interesting if we take a look at this tool. So once we, as once we have said this, we're going to start downloading the, the file, right? You just have to click here in this purple button and uh, well, it is going to download the software pretty uh, fast. It is just um, uh, seconds download. So it is just downloading right now. And uh, well, um, once this is done, we just have to click on the exe file that we have downloaded. Once this is done, it is going to open up or launch a, a particular presentation uh, window. But w once this is done, you're going to see this uh, window which is gonna be the launch one right and well as soon as uh, the loading finishes you will see this a uh, another welcome github desktop application it uh, well we have different options right we have we can create a, a free account or in case we have a github account already we can just click on the sign up github.com uh, button however there is another option in case we are working on the uh, github enterprise right in case you are already working on a, a company which have this uh, we can also skip this step step but i'm gonna click on uh, signing into the github um, application right in this case it is gonna or actually i have logged myself uh, with google chrome as you can see this repository is the one that we have worked uh, in the past video explaining how to use git with the command line right it was on november 4th <laughs> a long time ago however as you can see here we're gonna uh, have this authorization github desktop uh, url we're not gonna uh, uh, actually allow uh, github desktop to have access to, oh, to our uh, public and private repositories uh, we're gonna share our personal data and well we can actually update uh, github actions for example and so that's basically the authorization step we click on on the on the green button right to authorize the, the github desktop and as you can see here if i click on open it is gonna uh, ask me for the configure git this is something very um, similar than the thing that we did with a uh, git right in the common line uh, we're gonna specify the name and the email it is gonna uh, be the identifier when well actually uh, we publish some commits or uh, we do different things on the repository right so we can use uh, the github account name and email address or we can also configure it manually in this case i'm gonna use the the default one i have the name uh, and the email from the github account so i just have to click on continue for example and um well everything is gonna be set up and ready to be used right so i'm gonna gonna i'm gonna click on continue there that's right <clears throat> and as you can see here it is uh, telling us that if we want we can uh, help us uh, or actually help github desktop uh, to improve sending uh, usage stats in my case to be honest i don't want to send it it is good for for the application to get better performance but i'm gonna click on or actually uncheck that and finish well this is uh, the view that the github desktop has in this case uh, as you can see it is very uh, easy and understandable but 
uh, well, I guess that we can do a make a test or actually do something. Just give me a second. I guess that we can review this in a in another video with all details about the different actions that we can perform. But I I want to show you how to clone a uh, repository and and how simple is that. So uh, what we're gonna do something here. We're gonna click on the clone a repository from the internet button here. So I'm gonna just click here, and as you can see, we can uh, select from the variety of your repositories that we have. So, um, in this case, I want to uh, actually clone the git test repository that was the, the, the repository that we did in the past to actually learn the basic uh, git commands, right? So, the thing that I'm gonna do now is choose the document or actually the folder or the path where I want to download my Mm, repository in my case I want to download it in documents so I'm gonna select that uh, folder and as you can see well the, the local path will be constructed in this case is documents and the uh, folder will be named git test just as the uh, repository is named once this is done you can see here that I just have to clone in if, if I want to do it and you will see that the repository is ready to uh, in my computer to to work right um, here we have different branches if if we would uh, use different branches in this case I just have master uh, we can do a lot of stuff here actually we have <laughs> an inbuilt a uh, button to open it in visual studio code it's amazing once it's done you you can see the version file that we did uh, in the past we have different folders files and well all is set up and ready to start working in our project so please let me know in the comment section below if you want to keep learning about github desktop because if you want to i'll try to give you more details about it thank you very much for watching the video this was your media and see you in the next one thank you bye bye